What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the Great War Group Build here on Ben Builds. We are on episode number six today, guys, and we are going to be pushing forward on Newport 17. My goal is to get this primed and painted, so next episode we can get decals on and we can get this thing looking like a Newport. So let's go ahead and get that primer out and see what we can do. Now the primer I've actually used here, I originally thought I would use a NATO black, but I ended up using just a straight old flat black. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to try something different, try something new, and I think it turned out decently. But now we're going to go ahead and mix up a little custom color. Now the way the Newport works here is we've actually taken some of our aluminum and we've actually mixed it with a light gray by Vallejo Model Air. This is creating a really interesting looking silver gray. So you can see here on the wing and I honestly think it's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and paint the entire fuselage and wings with this custom color. So let's see what we can do. All right, guys, I like how that looks. It's very, very cool. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry off camera. We're going to shift our gears over here to the wing struts. Now, the wing struts themselves have metal connection points, both at the base and at the very top of each of these struts. And also, there are metal bands that are strategically placed along each of the struts themselves. So we're going to go ahead and use our brush painting skills, which are very, very lacking. But we're going to grab our brush. We're going to then use some Vallejo Chrome. And I'm going to go ahead and hand brush each of these lines and the connection points at the base and at the top of these struts. Boy, it's kind of nerve wracking because I'm not the best brush painter, but it's got to be done. So let's go ahead and kick the time lapse in, get these all painted up. Thank you. 
All right, those turned out beautifully, I have to admit. I was a little bit skeptical on if I could go ahead and accomplish that, but I did it. I'm pleased with them. They're good at the three-foot rule, so I think we're good there. Now, moving on, we're going to shift our gears over to the actual gun. Now, the new part that we're building has two guns. It has a Lewis gun at the top of the wing, and then it has what I think is a Vickers machine gun strapped onto the top of the cowling. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to detail up this machine gun here. Now, there are several PE parts that go onto that, including a caulking handle, some detail on the side. So we're going to go ahead and first off start by hollowing out the gun barrel itself. I'm going to use my exact same technique as I've done many times before. Just take the tip of my X-Acto blade, put it right there in the very center of that actual barrel, bend it very slowly using hardly any pressure at all. We should be good to go. This is what we've come up with. Hopefully you can see there is a little bit of an indentation there. I like it. I think it's going to be just fine. So now let's move over to the photo etched. Now there are not too many photo etched parts. It's about three, but we're going to start here with this very long lever. And I'm assuming this is some sort of a caulking handle to clear jams or maybe to feed in the next round. I'm not sure exactly. But that's what I think it is. And it actually shows it mounting to the very top of the breech. So we're going to go ahead and super glue that in place. I've got my super glue here. We're going to use our reverse tweezers and we're just going to glue that right on down. As you can see here, it goes right here on top. So all we need to do is just dip this a little bit here in super glue and we should be able to put that right on top. Now that that's on and drying, we're going to go ahead and take this little side lever as well. We're going to glue that. There is some raised detail here on the side of the breech. It tells me to go ahead and put a photo etch metal lever on top of that. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And this should be pretty easy to go ahead and place. Now let's go ahead and look at the very last piece we have to put on. And that is the front, I'm assuming some sort of a flash suppressor or some sort of a, uh, of a trough that sits underneath the muzzle. But that's just quickly bent, put right into place. Now we we'll take a little bit of super glue here. We're just going to go ahead and fill up any of the gaps here and make sure these are nice and adhered. So we can go ahead and then paint it. And I'm going to paint it in a silver color and then dry brush it with black and see what that does. Now, speaking of silver, we need to go ahead and take a look at the rest of the new part. The new part itself is basically silver all over, but there's different material types here on the aircraft. There's metal and then there's that painted doped fabric. So I've done the painted doped fabric now with my mixture of gray and silver and I really do like the tone and the shade that we've come up with but we have to go ahead and paint the other parts now on the new port we are going to have metal parts such as the support structures for the landing gears the cowling side panels that sit next to the cowling so we have a lot of masking to do because we have to go ahead and paint those a totally different silver <music> I love how this turned out. Let's go ahead and unmask all the tape. It's been drying for a little bit, and I think we are good to go ahead and unmask. And I'll show you guys the finished result. Fingers crossed this turned out. I really hope it did. Now, there isn't any weathering on it. It's just pure paint at this point, so we'll have to weather it down. But I think in the end, it'll be pretty neat. So let's take a look at this. As you can see here, we have the front part of it, a metal color, and the back part and the wings, that's going to be your more muted silver gray fabric. I think this is really cool. I love it. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today. Next time, we're going to come on back and I'm going to overcoat this in a future color. And then we're going to start applying decals and start getting this thing more or less wrapped up. 
we have weathering to do. We have lots of little bits and pieces to put on. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here next episode of the Great War Group Build here on Ben Builds. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.